With this one, we're asked to find what the eighth term is in the sequence, and by the layout of it here, this formula, you can tell that it is a geometric sequence. In other words, it's we're being multiplied by a common factor each term. Okay, so first of all, we need to bring in what the original explicit formula is for a geometric sequence, and that's this one right here. Uh, several things on here that we need to be aware of. We've got an ace of one. This is the first term of the sequence. R is the ratio or the common factor that each number is being multiplied by. An ace of n is going to be whatever one we're looking for. So ace of one, we know. This one's already kind of set out pretty nice for us. That's going to be four. The ratio, or excuse me, the n value that we're looking for here is eight. So it's going to be ace of uh, eight is what we're going to be looking for. The n value is eight. We're going to plug in eight right here and right here. And of course, the ratio on this one is negative three. We know that one because it's right here. Pretty much in the same form here. Okay, so now we're just going to kind of plug in what we know. We know it's going to be ace of eight is what we're going to be looking for. So then ace of one is four. The ratio is negative three. We find that over here. And then uh, we have our exponent n is eight. So this is just going to be an eight minus one. Now all we really have to do is simplify what's on the right-hand side. In fact, if you want to, you can plug that into your calculator and then it'll do all the work for you. But if not, you want to do it by hand, that's fine too. Eight minus one is seven. So then it's going to be negative three times itself seven times. And that comes out to negative 2187. Then to finally simplify it, we just multiply four times negative 2187, which gives us our final answer of negative 8748. And so the big thing here is just kind of uh, plugging in. The easiest way to do it is just take this eight, and we're gonna plug it in right here and up top here, and then just simplify it and you're done.